Welcome back to the Go Karts and Good Times YouTube channel. Today is another mini bike day and hopefully I'll be able to ride it in this video. My first order of business is turning this length of tube into front wheel spacers and hopefully I'll have enough left for foot bags. Voila, the front wheel finally sits centered. From what I can see, these folding foot pegs are going to work great. Now I just have to mount them up to the frame. While only tech welded, these foot pegs look, feel, and function amazingly. With the foot pegs finally done, I'm happy to report that they're surprisingly strong. Next, I'd like to move on to making the seat, but I don't have materials to cover the top. In the meantime though, I can put the blind nuts in the lower piece and get it ready so that when we're done with the top of the seat, we can screw it all together. Also, I found an old adapter that allows me to use a large filter instead of a small one, so I'm going to go with that for the time being. With this done and ready to accept the seat, it's time to move on to handlebar mounts. Fortunately, my parts finally came in. Because I didn't check, of course, the holes for the brackets are way too far apart. To remedy this issue, what I'll be doing is welding half of this bar on each side of the forks. Good addition to the new bike. Time to load it up. 
Now we are finally ready to paint. Being completely honest, this frame looks a whole lot better with paint on it. The paint is done, and it's not perfect, but it's going to get beat up with use anyway. So now it can finally be put all together. As it turns out, with a little bit of massaging from a vise and a hammer, these handlebars will barely work. Now I can move on to making a throttle setup and running the fuel lines up to where I'm moving the tank. While the bike we're robbing parts off of has brake levers for us, we need to trim them down and remove all the extra casting from the shifter. This hardline solution not only solves my problem of having enough line, but it also allows me to run it through the middle here without being worried about the line melting. In addition to fuel line, I'd also like to run the throttle through the center of the engine because it places it perfectly in line with the carburetor.
happy to say that it finally runs and drives after all this time. Well, it's not complete. I still need the seat. I still need to put everything on the handlebars and I still need a brake and some other finishing touches. It's mostly complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In upcoming videos, I want to finish the mini bike, including all the final touches and do a riding video where I bring this and the go-kart out to romp in the backyard.